Where are we going? Fishing. Crabbing. Crabbing. Crab whacking. Crab whacking. Hey, walkie, walkie, walkie. <laughs> you see. This is where we're fishing. It's very high tide. Ooh. Call the elevator? Okay, come in, come in, come in. First thing we wacky, huh? First thing we gotta steal. We're gonna stick. get wacky. We're gonna right off the bat. We're gonna steal the stick first. Uh oh. Yeah, we're gonna take the stick. <laughs> and things are gonna get a little wacky and bloody. Yeah. Don't get wacky. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Gonna get, gonna get wacky. Good morning. Look at that beautiful terrain to fish. Oh, I am ready. And here is my whacking stick. Whacking sticks. This is my aunt from California. We've been coming to Cabos for since I was a baby now, right? And um, this is our, her, our first fishing adventure together, basically. <laughs> Yay! Can't wait. So we, this is a three-person job to catch these crabs. One person herds them in, the other person smacks them, the third person grabs them and puts it in the bucket so they don't scatter away. So today, our weapon of choice Whacking sticks. Whacking sticks. Oh. You're crazy. Ready. Let's do it. A lot, Batman. And you can't be stay here. You stay here and dry. I'm go outside. They're all on top. I need a new stick. My stick is all broken. Now it's a spear. Oh, it's a spear! <laughs> My, okay, we need better stick, Dad. Oh my god, so many of them. That one right here is this. Right here? Yeah. Oh! Sorry. Not dead. They're coming out, they're coming out. right there. Get it. Nice. 
There's some on the side right there. Hard to whack him, huh? Got it. Thank you. Okay, let's move rocks. that we've been catching all morning. Cut off the legs. Now some of these are, are hard shell, some of these are soft shell. The soft shell, I don't need to cut anything off. I cut the legs off, I don't take the head off. And now I'm gonna make these into four pieces. Just like that. Uh, the rig I'm using is a Drifting rig that has it's basically a high low rig except no sinker. It's another hook. And what you want to do is drift fish this on the rocks. And we're using this rig without a sinker because the waves are crazy here and the bottom is full of rocks. If I were to use a bottom rig, it would get snagged almost immediately. So remember, if you're, if you're fishing a really rocky area, really rocky bottom, try and throw something without sinkers. And if you throw a sinker, you gotta be really careful for, for getting snagged. Is that a big wave? A big wave. That's a huge one. Hold on tight. That went right over your head. Get off of there, let's go. There's a crab right next to your face too, oh my God. Dad, there's another one, come on. Give me a run. Okay, careful, careful, it's okay. There's no more waves, there's no more waves, no more waves. I can't see anything. Take this, pop, take this. There's some deep pockets over here that I saw earlier that I want to try. Yesterday I saw a big fish hiding under here. Let's see if he's still there. I hear that the fish here are, are territorial of their, their area. I'm not sure if that's true. Let's find out together. I messed it up. I had him. On. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, a nice one. Holy crap, what is this guy? Woo! You were a strong guy. These guys have very sharp teeth. Look at him, look at that football. 
that's a nice size one, probably three, three, four pounds. It may not look like it, but it's very fat and very heavy. It was pretty much the second I dropped my bait, this guy hit it. I missed it because I thought it was the tide pulling it, but it was the fish. So I didn't set the hook. And uh, I was wondering if it would bite it again. Sure enough, it bit it again. Persistence paid off. But uh, this is called, actually, I'm not quite sure what this is called. Can you guys comment below? Let us know. Can you identify this fish for us? Look at that, how beautiful the colors are. Look at the patterning on it. Look at his tail. Wow. And this is a nice one. Hard? It fought really hard. Let's let him go. Yeah. Amaya. Sashimi on the beach. And we're gonna slice this guy up and eat him raw right now. <laughs> okay, so let's put him away for now. on there I knew it I knew there was a fish in there <laughs> dang I felt the bite it snagged me up I let out the line so I I felt the bite and then it snagged me up on a rock real quick So I, when it snagged me, I let out more line. I let out the line so it'll swim itself out of the snag. And then it sure enough did. Too small, let's let this guy go. I'm basically looking for, for places under rock, like shelters that fish would hide in. And like under this rock is a good one. Under that one, that crevice right there. Maybe like, maybe over there. Let me try over here. On! That's a big one! Ah! Another big one! <laughs> yes! I sight fished for that one. I saw him hiding. This guy has been eating crabs all day long. I hooked him perfectly too. Just look at that. Look at that. Beautiful specimen, huh? Yes. All right, we've already got one fish. Let's put this guy away. I agree. This crab works like wonders. <laughs> the whacking stick did it. It helped us out a lot today to get those crabs. Um, I, I want to give you guys a warning. Although the crabs work really, really well here, you got to be really careful when you're when you're messing around rocks and waves like this. It's it's not. It looked like we're having a lot of fun, but we're also being very, very cautious. And we're putting ourselves and our lives at risk when we do it, and we know that. If you ever plan on doing something like this, make sure you take proper precautions. I'm wearing shoes right now. See these? Those are spikes. Yeah, I have some they too. Keep me, they keep me from slipping on the rocks. Um, a lot of times what will really hurt somebody is with their back turned to the water, a big wave comes unexpectedly which happens all the time, and washes them, and they'll start tumbling, and they'll, they might hit their head on a rock or something. You guys have to be careful. Here in Cabo San Lucas, there is hardly any bait shops. There's like two, and I don't even think they sell any kind of live bait. It's pretty much all lures. So really, we have to be scavenging for these, for these uh, crabs right now. We're not killing them just for fun. 
There's a reason we're killing them. We're smashing these crabs to, to use for bait, to catch fish, to feed the family. I hope you guys like this episode. We had a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun filming it and have, being out here and, and catching fish and learning. Um, and we want to thank you guys for subscribing and being a part of our community because without you guys we would not be here right now. We're here to document and teach as many people how to start fishing. That's our job at Senko Skipper, is to help as many of you guys. So it really means a lot when you tell us that, that we're doing a good job. We've got a website, SenkoSkipper.com, full of stuff just for you guys. Anybody who needs help with fishing, we've got a whole bunch of stuff to help you guys. So the tide is coming in, it's getting a little dangerous to fish, so we're going we're gonna to stop for a little bit. Plus I'm like so hot. See you guys. In our next episode, we're going to slice this guy up, eat him raw.